Hello, and welcome back to our mini series on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Marketing. Today, what we're going to be focusing on is scoring models. So let's jump right into it. So inside of D365 Marketing, I'm in the lead management area under scoring models. So let's open up one of these existing um, scoring models to see what they look like. So it's pretty simple. You have a condition, so you're seeing what is happening, and then you have an action on what it's what, on what it's actually going to be doing. So I'm going to switch this view from design to text because it's a little bit easier to read. So now what you're seeing is that based on these different rules, um, you're going to be adding or removing points. So let's just kind of look at some of these conditions. And there's multiple different areas that you can have conditions. So if they visited the website, you know, add some points. If they registered for an event, add points. If they opened up an email, you can add points. If they did a form submission, they can add points. You know, you can look for very specific things in the profile um, where it's going on. And this last one, uh, you know, side note, I am from Wisconsin. So, you know, if we find out that you guys are a Vikings fan, then unfortunately we, we do subtract some points. But no, I joke, I jest on that. I just want to show you that you can add and remove points. And deep down, I know that the Vikings will probably win the division. So, but I digress. Let's get back to D365 marketing. So as you can see, it's very robust. You can have multiple different rules. You can be either adding points or removing points. And there's lots of different things from, you know, stuff they've done from a marketing standpoint, you know, just based on information that's filled in inside of your dynamics environment. And then you can add and remove points. Let me go back here to the designer. Um, so it's pretty easy. You just can drag and drop these conditions in. You can edit the conditions and then add the different actions that you want. The other part that's really nice about these scoring models are the grades. So inside of here, the first thing I want to do is that just say, when is this going to be, you know, when do I want to be pushing stuff to sales? So this is like where I'm mar marketing qualified and moving it over to a sales qualified lead. And so right now I just sit on 40. So you can have some processes that are built around this that will then allow it to kind of pass from marketing into sales. But the other nice thing here is that you can actually create grades. Now I just made very simple generic grades. I just call them cold, warm, and hot. And then I put ranges on it. So, you know, 0 to 25, 26 to 40, and 41 to 100. Now, what this is nice for is that these can be reported on or filtered on and different things like that. So if you have multiple different kind of leads out there and some, you know, some of the scores are, let's say, 81, 82, 83, you can just say everything in the 80s are hot. And then you can just, you know, kind of filter it or group it by these grades. So it's a nice way to be able to do that. And you can add as many, I shouldn't say as many as you want. You can add many grades out here and then put the criteria appropriately. So let's take a look at what they look like on the leads. So I'm going to go in this area called lead scores. So those of you that are familiar with D365, this should look D365 sales or customer service or any of the D365 mod modules. This should look very familiar. This is a common view. And so now I have my leads and then I have my scores. And then notice I even have my grades. And then it can tell me where, where it's at. So sometimes if, if lead scores are still being calculated, it might say in progress, different things like that. But now you can see that you know they're up to date and here's the grades and the scores that get, got assigned to these different leads. So as you can see, I can very easily filter on these. I can put them in list views very easily. Now let's take a look at what they look like on the actual lead record. So I'm going to open up this lead for myself, Tom Lemerand. So the first thing you're going to notice is right over here, there is a lead score area. So I can quickly just see what the lead score is. But there's also a lead score tab. And what you're going to have here is that you can have multiple different scoring models running at the same time. You don't just have to have one. You can have multiple ones. And of course, just depending on the criteria that you put in there, they could be in multiple you know, different stages or levels or points of the different scoring models. So if they're in two or three or four scoring models and this lead is part of it, they will be all listed underneath this lead score area on the tab. So notice for those of you that are familiar, let's just say with D365 sales, this is your lead entity. It doesn't change. 
um, it's the same. So the data is exactly the same when you use Dynamics Marketing compared to Dynamics Sales. And that is the power is that it's all sitting on the same um, common data store. All right. Well, today, or this video, I should say, we learned about scoring models. Please check back as we keep going through the different components of D365 marketing. Thank you.